Welcome to the Human Agent Interaction Project. This project is being done by Group 7, which consists of Cameron Barty, Gary Morris, Joseph Michaels, Luis Quintanilla, and Seferino Fernandez. I'm Seferino Fernandez, and I'll tell you what the project is about. The Human Agent Interaction is a study currently being done by Assistant Professor Aaron Chow and Graduate Research Assistant Murdad Sharak. The study consists of questionnaires which gather user information both before the game is played and after the game is played. When the study first started, the Microworld Hospital was originally an Android app which was then converted into a desktop Java application. This project is going to be a Java application conversion into a web application. A web application will provide several advantages over a desktop application, such as portability, accessibility, and will allow the researchers to collect data with ease. Hi, my name is Luis, and I'm going to discuss the project requirements. With the given complete Java desktop application derived from the Android app, we were given the task to integrate the game into a web-based application that can be accessed via URL hosted within ASU's network. The purpose of having the game online benefits both its participants and the data collectors, such as lowering the setup time per user and session and the ability to have a clean, consolidated view of the results. The current design consists of the results being generated at the end of each game session into a local CSV file on the desktop being used. While this gets the job done, it isn't ideal as it would be better to directly send the results to an online database that can be accessed remotely especially since there are multiple CSV files per participant and session. However, due to time constraints of the project, we all agreed to first integrate the current Java program into a web-based application, where the results of each session will be saved locally on the server in an appending CSV file containing all of the results. Furthermore, the questions that each participant fills out will be available online as well, both before and after playing the game, mimicking exactly how the simulation is currently set up. This way, the results of each session will contain both the results of the game session and the answers to each questionnaire. The creative part of this project consists of a tutorial that we are free to design that will help each participant fully understand the tasks and requirements that the game is about to challenge. Above all else, the integration into a web-based application will require the look and feel of the entire project to appear professional and hypothetically marketable to an audience. Ultimately, the current state of the game is not to be changed whatsoever, other than fixing any bugs that may appear during testing. This project will require some research involving HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, and Visual Basic in order to fulfill the requirements. If there is time to implement a proper database for the results, we will need to dive into some ASP.NET and SQL Server with their capabilities. The sole purpose of this project is to provide an easier experience for both the participants and the collectors of the current study. Hey everyone, I'm Joe, and I'll be discussing our design process. After our first meeting with the sponsor, we immediately began our design process. This started with a group meeting where we discussed project direction, obstacles, and time frame. Here, the initial whiteboard design and rough prototype layout can be seen along the top of this photo. We covered rudimentary layout of each HTML slide and paired them with the sponsor requirement or resources. Each slide was assigned a team member and name for easy reference when we would eventually assemble the prototype. Next, we brainstormed languages and tools to handle translating the code base into something that could be utilized within a web application, along with minor name changes within the simulation to improve user comprehension. We also set a timeline to keep us on track for the following weeks that we have strictly adhered to. From there, we moved into prototyping phase, building each web page to our understood specifications, compiling and critiquing each other's design to form a consistent user experience. Finally, we demoed the prototype to the sponsor and have received feedback on our design, which we have begun to implement and plan to do a final demonstration before the end of the semester. Next semester, we will begin our main development phase, where we will follow an agile process with two-week sprints handling the build, test, and agile documentation of the project. Hello, my name is Cameron Barty, 
and I will be presenting the UI prototype for our Teams project. It should be noted that this is mostly a simple UI prototype, and so lacks most of the backend functionality. However, it serves as a useful preview of roughly what the project will be like when it is finished. Now, on to the demo. The first screen demonstrates our initial Sentinel page. It serves two functions. One, it detects if the user's JavaScript is working. If not, it will display an error message informing the user that JavaScript must be enabled. Two, if no study is currently active, the Sentinel page will redirect to this message, informing the user that no data is being collected at this time and denying them access to the Microworld Hospital game. If, however, this web page is accessed during a time when a study is active, the Sentinel page will then direct the user to the welcome screen. This is the welcome screen, a simple title to inform the user that they are on the correct site, and a button that allows them to begin. We will be adding legal and privacy statements to this page at a later date. Clicking the Begin button takes the user to the pregame questionnaire. This form will collect various data about the users prior to them playing the game. In the complete version, the user will be required to fill out all form items before submitting. After clicking Submit, the user will be taken to the training page. This page contains pictures and text that will provide an overview of how to play the game. After the user is finished reading, they can click the button to advance onto the tutorial portion of the game. In this portion of the game, the players will play a short two-minute version of the game during which no data is collected. This is to familiarize the player with the game before actual data is collected. For the prototype, we have created a non-functioning version of the game's UI, but in the completed version, this screen will contain all the backend code needed to run the game. After the tutorial's two-minute timer has expired, the player will be taken to the main eight-minute version of the game, during which data will be collected. This screen will function exactly the same as the two-minute tutorial, except for the longer time limit and data collection. After the eight-minute timer expires, then the user is taken to the post-game questionnaire. On this screen, data is gathered about the user following their game session. They will indicate their level of agreement with various statements by ticking the radio buttons associated with each statement. After the user has filled out all the form items, they will be able to click Submit, at which point they will be taken to the Thank You screen, thanking them for their participation. This concludes the prototype demo. Hi, I'm Gary Morris, and I'm going to talk about our future phases for the project. We've already completed our phase one, which was analysis, where we determined with the sponsor what it is exactly that they wanted and how best to accomplish that goal. Our phase two, which is what we're currently in until the end of the semester, is our design process. We have developed a prototype of the UI that's going to be for the sponsor approval just after Thanksgiving, and that will bring us to the conclusion of the semester. Phase three will start us off next semester with our implementation phase. This is where the bulk of our agile process will be conducted. We will begin implementing the back end of the project as well as continuously integrating the package. Phase four will begin three months later with beta testing. This is where the sponsor will conduct a full blown research test on the system to stress test it for us. We can then make any adjustments as needed. Phase five will be the user acceptance phase. This is where we will present to the sponsor all the corrections that we have done from the beta test and get them to accept the project. Phase six will be our release phase. This phase is where we will set the sponsor up in their lab with their server so that they can then have people access the web package and conduct the survey. Hey, I'm Seth Reno again, and I contributed to documents such as the software requirements, specifications, and the meeting minutes done after every meeting with the sponsor. I also worked on the post questionnaire HTML page, which gathered user information after the user is done playing the game. Hi, Luis here again. My contributions consisted of research into web based applications and frameworks, taking meeting notes, ensuring documents are uploaded and available on Blackboard, creating an HTML thank you page, and editing the others as well editing and writing to all four of the documents, and lastly, both the audio recording and editing of this presentation. Hi, this is Joe again, and my contributions include the initial setup of our development tools in Tega, Slack, and GitHub, designing the welcome and tutorial pages for our sponsor prototype, the first version of our project charter, and the first version of our system design specification documentation. Hello, it's Cameron again, and my contribution to the project included the following. I produced the pre-questionnaire HTML prototype page. 
as well as the mock-up game and tutorial HTML pages for the project prototype. I am not in the web and mobile focus area, and so I also found it to be one of my responsibilities to do research on HTML and CSS. In addition, I was the primary maintainer of the team's milestone log and was responsible for setting up the team's Google Drive. Hi, it's Gary again. My contributions to the project were being the team lead, which involved the management of the meetings and coordination of our resources and planning for our direction forward, sponsor coordination, creation of the management plan, contributions to the software requirement specification, as well as the video production.